Double bars. We sent all the waitresses uniforms as created by Carisha and Jazz to all the new chills in LA, Hong Kong and Paris. I know. Ridiculously long false nails. Check. Multicoloured hair extensions and dangerously high, high heels. Check. Check. Gold lame micro skirts and extra short tops. Check and check. The only problem is that LA waitresses just happen to be waiters. <laughs> well, you should have sent them the boys first. <laughs> Why don't you check that? Because LA is eight hours behind us, and their working day is like the middle of the night over here. I know, and Hong Kong's eight hours ahead. Man, when I sold the Chill franchise to three of the biggest cities in the world, I thought I was finally on track for Mum's Million. But there's no way I can keep on top of all these new time zones. Taj, aren't you forgetting something? That I've only got four days before all these new chills are meant to open. No, that you don't have to do it by yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Danny. Seymour, you sort the menus. And I'm going to need someone to talk to the chill in Paris about logos and signs. <laughs> Seymour, how's your French? Fantastic, mon ami. Great. Oh, and I'm going to need someone to order more paper for the printer. <laughs> Seymour, can you do that as well? <laughs> I've even had to let Colton organise the training video for the new staff. Colton. <laughs> You can serve him. I served the last loony that wandered in. Ladies, let me introduce her to Raju. I've hired him to shoot the training video for the new chills. Mm, so he's cheap and crazy. He's the nephew of an old friend of mine. He's going to be the next big Bollywood director, aren't you, Raju? It's all the Indian film magazines say, Carlton. My word. Has anyone ever told you how absolutely movie-tastic you two look? Not enough. I'm an actress as it happens. I knew it. You can always tell these things. It's in the eyes. Those beautiful eyes. So expressive. Uh, what about my eyes? Phenomenal. The windows to your very soul. No! <laughs> this Raj you is shooting the training video for the new chills, right? Oh, whatever. To Carlton, it's a training video. To me, it's my Bollywood showreel. Raj is going to take it all the way to the movie producers in India. But. Is he any good? Any good? They're calling him the new king of Bollywood. Oh. Hi, Des. I'm always <laughs> excited to hear from you. Why is Mum so tired? You haven't been paying attention, have you? Loads of people are sick at the hospital. Jasmine, those people are called patients. <laughs> I mean. The staff. She's having to do extra shifts to cover. What? You mean like they divide up the 24 hours between them? And your mum worked the whole of last night. Wicked! It's a special bond, isn't it, between a son and his mum? <laughs> Bye, days. Ah, not many people can pull off the Dr Frankenstein look, Alex. But... Hold these. <laughs> You haven't been hanging out at Dude Boy recently? I've been busy. Hmm. Mm. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> it's not nice, Michael. It's a sample of yesterday's school dinners I took from the slop bucket. Oh! Yeah, oh, it's right. I've just tested it in the chemistry lab, and it's full of salt, sugar, fat, and probably loads of E numbers. Oh, but I thought the school only used natural ingredients. Yeah, and that's what the headmistress repeated to me when I confronted her with my evidence. But if the school aren't putting in all these chemicals, and where are they coming from? Let's go, Patrick. Get the other sample bottles from my locker. Place your order for Leon's Extra Special Sauce, the only known cure to horrible school dinners. Poured over any old muck they serve up. Not only makes it edible, it makes it delicious. Uh, finance, that's my department, I think. Uh, don't you think we've taken too many orders? Too many? These orders are going to pay for my, I mean our, new Play X station. But we're supplying two other schools as well. We want the console with the cordless controllers, don't we? Yeah, I guess. But you know Seymour would kill us if he found out what we was using in this sauce. Hi, Alex. Hi, Michael. Hi, Mal. Hi, Leon. 
You know, Alex, you're right. Like Jamie Oliver said, it's the health of the next generation we're talking about here. Patrick, get rid of those! <laughs> What's that? Oh, um... Uh, uh, ointment. <laughs> you know, Alex, I don't feel so good. Yeah? <laughs> Tried any of Leon's ointment? No, I think it started yesterday, after school dinners. After school dinners? Really? Seymour, you know if these franchises don't work, the chill is not going global, it's going nowhere. Well, that's the sign you did for the Chill Out Grill Paris. <laughs> Man, you really messed up this time, Seymour. But I spelt it out for them. Chill Out Grill. Well, would you like to eat in the Ouch Ill Girl? <laughs> They mustn't have understood. I had to call them from the toilets and I had to whisper. In French? Of course in French. Oh, that was you. <laughs> we need to set up a shift system until the new branches are up and running. Divide the 24 hours between each of us. Well, that's OK for LA and Hong Kong, but there's only one hour time difference with Paris. When we're at school, they're at work. And we can't use our mobiles in class. Leave it to me. First, you do things the wrong way. Then, you're doing the spoon away. <laughs> yeah, I've worked with all the big names like uh, uh, Vishwakarma Chitrabaram. <laughs> that is a big name. Karisha, we are going to be the J-Lo and Halle Berry of Bollywood. But talent alone isn't going to be enough to get you where you want. So, do work. And remember, all you have to be is your normal working selves. I'm not going to let fame change me, though. No, me neither. I will always find time for my public. Excuse me, but I've been waiting We've been here. We'll be okay. That's perfect. That's exactly the attitude Carlton wants for the training video. Apparently, extreme rudeness is the key to its success. OK? And action. Sorry, sir. I am just a poor and simple waitress here only to serve you. What is it that you desire? Um... Your wish? Is my command. <laughs> Are you supposed to be the genie from Aladdin? <laughs> Some tempting food? Some delicious drink? A, a, a tea and a burger, please? Maybe a little uh, music? Symbols? Symbols. CD? CD. <laughs> Watching DVDs and everything. Wait till you see the Bollywood theme that we've got coming up. But you're supposed to be insulting customers and getting orders wrong. I know you're the director, are you? But Bollywood producers aren't going to want to see that now, are they? Omar, is EX347 the fluorescent green powder? No, it's the grey liquid over there. <sighs> and your pot is boiling. This is too much work for the two of us. Where's Leon? He's ill. Or so he says. <laughs> and Omar wondered if all that hard work be worthwhile. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Patrick. Didn't I tell you that cooking's not for wimps? <sighs> if you can't stand the heat, then you should get out of my kitchen. <laughs> OK. Uh, where are you going? Patrick, gotta go late for work. Mum, your next shift is at six tomorrow morning, not six this evening. Really? <sighs> so what are you two up to? Uh, helping Patrick with his home economics project. <laughs> Isn't he good, Patrick? <laughs> the world's smallest and most secret mobile phone. <laughs> the keypad is on the ring, and here is the miniature earpiece and microphone. Is that the microphone? Nice, no, a mint. <laughs> this is state-of-the-art technology, man. It was developed for top-secret military surveillance. Wow. They're even going to use it in the next James Bond film. So... How did you get a hold of it? Ah, oh, my dad's knocking them out. It's still down the market. <laughs> OK, so, uh, send in the menus. Have you checked them, Seymour? We can't afford any more mistakes. I checked them three times. Mm. You press this button to turn it on. <laughs> right, let me give you a demonstration. I'm going to call LA. Maybe all our communication problems at school are sorted. Yeah, all right, geese. What's up? 
Yeah, it's Rude Boy HQ, chill out, coming at you from London town, innit? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? You don't. <laughs> Taj, this bloke in LA wants to know if there's anybody with me who speaks English. <laughs> uh, well, it's a tongue, Michael. Uh, and? And it might be a very unhealthy tongue. But if I'm going to prove that school dinners are damaging our health, then I'm going to need more people than you as case studies. Oh. Alex, have you seen Seymour? Hmm, I think I saw him. No, not you. I mean, <laughs> mais non. Non, pas vous. Pardon? Barbecue cheesecake? <laughs> Man, it just gets worse. Oh, um. Confusion. Speaking in tongues. Excellent. It affects the brain, too. Ice cream burgers, <laughs> hot dog sundaes. What have you done, Seymour? All the dishes on the menus you sent out are all mixed together. It's like you put them in a the blender and switched it to turbo. Yeah. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> Give me the phone. I'll run Paris right away and sort it out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seymour, you just put the microphone in your ear. <laughs> Why are you... Taj, you got to help me. I'm in over my head. <laughs> that doesn't sound too deep. <sighs> me and Leon have gone into business, and now we can't meet our customers' orders. Ah. Omar, Omar. I could bail you out, but then... What would that teach you about business? But something I will give you is some professional advice. Never take on more than you can handle. Yeah. Like opening three different chills around the world. Exactly. <laughs> Shut up, Danny. <laughs> ladies, ladies, I uh, think we'd better move on to the next stage of our video. Delivering the food. Shoddy service we expect in the chill. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm just a poor sick poor waitress here only to serve you. No, no, no! <laughs> this is what we want to see. <laughs> oh my, oh my. But maybe not with this customer. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Simo, just the boy I wanted to talk to. Really? Yeah, we're having a Bollywood theme night tomorrow, and I think I know just the chef to conjure up the magic of Mumbai for us. Mm, she's just trying to impress Raju again. It's pathetic. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just using Raju. Don't use him, use me. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Taj, <laughs> what's happening? Well, I thought that Jazz was after Raju, but apparently... <laughs> Oh, you mean the menu? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Do you really want someone who talks to themselves cooking our food? <laughs> oh, man, no time. They'll never notice. <laughs> Mum! I'm really... That smells nice. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, hello. Uh, yeah, this is Rude Boy. Oh, you're going to send over the training videos, Raju? OK, uh, I'll give you the address. Raju, I'll send the courier over. He says what time? Uh, five. Better make it four. Uh, four thirty. <laughs> he says OK. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Taj, wait, I need to talk to you. You're not going mad. I can explain everything. Look, Alex, it wasn't what it looked like. Um, it's too complicated to explain now. Sorry, gotta go. Bye. Oint 
assessment. I think I'm going to have to analyse this. You don't have to. Leon's extra special sauce. <laughs> so, Omar, you're just a pawn in Leon's game. Hey, yeah. Omar's just a prawn. <laughs> you do know how dangerous this stuff is. It isn't dangerous. Pretty rough on the taste buds, though. <laughs> Not dangerous. Omar, you should see what it's done to your own brother. Alex, have you been avoiding me? Not now, Michael. I'm worried about Taj. I have to look something up. What's happened? Aren't my symptoms good enough for you anymore? <laughs> Taj, I've lost the mic. Oh, did you swallow it? Hold on. No, I can't in my stomach. Yeah, and everyone can normally hear that. Look, no time to look for it now. We have got to send off the training videos for the new chill. But can hear someone talking? Sounds like Alex and Michael. It does. What did I say? How should I know? I was listening to me. Michael, why are you talking to yourself? Oh, you think Taj is going crazy. I'm the one who's going crazy. Aren't you concerned about Taj at all? Not only is he talking to himself, but he's also acting secretive. And if you ask me, he does not look that good. Yeah, if you ask me. Itaj never looks that good. <laughs> Did you hear what DJ Knucklehead just said about me? I must have dropped the microphone in the library. Look, I better get down there before someone treads on it. Out! Too late. Look, we've got to go. <gasps> OK. So you are two very poor but beautiful sisters, Pooja and Samitra. Pooja, I want to be Samitra. Oh, for goodness sake, you're so childish. I'll be Pooja then. OK, two sisters, Pooja and Samitra. And then you meet Ishvar Shah. A rich, intelligent, smart and a very good-looking film star who comes to your village to look for a wife. Right. So, imagine for a moment that I am the glamorous film star and you both instantly fall in love with me. Ah. <laughs> but what am I to do? I'm confused. Who do I love the most? You are both so beautiful. Choose me, choose me. I'm the most beautiful, right, Raju? Oh, yeah, why? If you live on planet make-believe. And so you dance for him. To show your love. No, OK. <laughs> That's it. More. Give me more. Remember, you are madly, passionately in love with this marvellous and vastly doubted individual. There is an Indian film where the hero is not only the world's best cook, but also able to resolve all problems in a jiffy. Let me try that. Mm, not bad. I call it Jasmine Jal Frazee. Hot and spicy. Really? OK, uh, why don't you be the, the poor but simple brother who is a talented cook but can find no work until the kind and very handsome film star helps him out. I'll look after these while you dance. Maybe my dad could get me a new microphone. Let's look at Raju's video. There it is. At last, something's going to plan. I'll just see if the rest still works. <laughs> oh, I better check the menu. Okay. Where's it gone? Oh. Warning, this device is not licensed for use in the UK. <laughs> what? It may interfere with other electrical equipment. <laughs> so, your phony phone messed up all Seymour's emails, and now... Wipe the disc! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this thing's got more functions than I thought. Just off the Bollywood night at the chill. Be home late. Bye, Mrs. L. Peace at last. Ah. 
the phone stays. I think it's caused enough trouble. that uh, all my leading ladies fall in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> Clarissa, exactly how much is all this costing me? Oh, can't you look on the bright side for once, Carlton? That turban we got you would just about cover your bald patch. <laughs> Taj, I've got to talk to you about the allergic symptoms you're obviously experiencing. Uh, what symptoms? Taj hasn't got symptoms. I've got symptoms. <laughs> yeah. What symptoms? I've got no symptoms. Oh, goody, he doesn't even have school dinners. You know what I think it is, Alex? I think I'm allergic to Michael. Action! <laughs> oh, boy! It's, it's in my head. I've been overdoing it, and now I'm hearing ringing in my head. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> so, Raju. What exactly are you sending us out to Bollywood for our screen test? Yeah. And don't just bring it on us. I'm going to need time for some serious shopping beforehand. Shouldn't we see how my video is received first before we book any flights, sir? Oh, Mrs L. Thought you'd have your feet up this evening. Have my feet up? I almost had the floorboards up. <laughs> Raju? What are you doing here? Oh, you know him. Yeah, Raju works at my hospital. <laughs> He does, does he? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. Who told us he was a film director? From Bollywood? Raju is a porter in our X-ray department. <laughs> I'm surprised you two didn't see right to him. Right! I can shoot a proper show reel for you. Uh, 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 I'm not a Bollywood director, but Carlton does know my uncle. Oh, this is good stuff. Uh, we can use this in the promo. <laughs> <laughs> I will be. Now, if you don't mind, Alex, I'm just going to settle down and have a nice little sleep. <laughs> Hi, Hi Taj. We thought we'd come round and try and cheer you up. Yeah, we're really sorry it all went wrong. Especially me. <laughs> well, you needn't be. I have just found out that the L.A., Paris and Hong Kong chills are a massive success. But <clears throat> the staff had no training, the uniforms were all in the wrong sizes and the menus didn't even make sense. Which meant the waitresses and waiters were irritable and grumpy. <laughs> yeah, which means the customers loved it. It was just like the original chill they'd heard about. <laughs> Wicked! So, I'm thinking of setting up another chill. In the capital of China. What? You mean... Oh, yes. <laughs> Beijing!